Okay, so first we're gonna do for the tuna fly dish, we're gonna take our foie, we're gonna season it, and then we're gonna sear it. Uh, I like to season it with just salt and pepper, pretty basic, doesn't need anything else from that because right now you just want the flavor of the foie gras to uh, stand out more than anything else. We're gonna bring it over to a pan that's been on the heat. You kinda wanna get a hard sear on it first, then we'll kinda let it cook through after that. As we're cooking the foie, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Um, it tends to go from golden brown and delicious to dark very fast. So you're gonna keep an eye on the cooking time and when you're gonna flip it because you don't wanna overcook the foie as well. After we flip, we're gonna turn the heat down. This is going to ensure that we can cook it all the way through without burning the piece of meat. As we're cooking it on the second side, what I like to do is I like to take a spoon. I'm gonna baste it with the fat that the flaw is actually releasing itself. One way to check to see if the flaw is actually done is you're gonna kinda of press right in the middle. It's gonna feel like a sponge that has a little bit of a firmness right in the middle. Once, it, once you feel that the firmness is probably about pea size, you're gonna pull that off and you're gonna let the, the flaw actually continue to carry over cooking afterwards, just like every other protein. 